Betsy! Stay away from the wild mushrooms! Oh, hi! I'm Brownsville, creator of Puto Sauce. Welcome to my cow farm! This is my business partner, Pedro. What's up, Brownsville? Man, I still can't believe you guys sold over a million bottles of Puto Sauce. Like, where'd you come up with this name, man? Well, it's an old recipe passed down from my grandpa, and I believe it started way back in 1939. My grandpappy Poot had just started the farm. Back then, grandpappy only had a few cows, but he needed all the help he could get. So he went to his local Home Depot. for him, he found himself some nice, hard-working Mexicans who were grateful for the work. They were so grateful they would bring him homemade food and salsa. He loved their food, but the Mexican salsa was always too hot for Grandpappy Poot. So he decided to make his own non-spicy hot sauce. He found the sweetest ingredients. Pineapple. Mangoes. Non-spicy habaneros herbs and non-spices and then he blended it all together using his feet and toes when he was all done he called it puto sauce and the rest is history wait 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 wait! your grandpa mixed the salsa with his toes Ugh. why there was no blenders back then not to mention grandpappy poot had the most beautiful toes you'd ever seen they were pristine. Wow, they must have been beautiful. Yeah, and then the Mexicans tried the sauce and they loved it. They would yell my grandpappy, mas puto, mas puto sauce, por favor. That's quite a story, Brownsville. I bet your grandpappy Poot is very proud of you, my friend. Yep, he would be proud I didn't change the ingredients or method of blending. Wait, 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 what? Not only did I inherit Grandpappy's recipe and rugged good looks, but also inherited his beautiful, pristine toes. Que chula de pies! Gonna be a good batch right here. Those are some beautiful feet! Woo! Grand Bill's Puto Sauce. Bring out your inner Puto. Man, look at those things go! Yeah. <laughs>